How do you feel now versus when you started? It, it's just like somebody pushed play. I had been on pause for so long and, and not and not realize it. I was just I was just doing the bare minimum to get through the day. I was kind of down on myself and uh, a little bit of depression and I was self-medicating with um, alcohol and cigarettes. And it just felt like I was going down a tube and felt very unattractive, like I said earlier. Before, and I, I, was, I was, you know, really lazy and a couch potato, but I was a very good couch potato. I mean, I did it well. Very a two-pack-a-day smoker. And that was like forever, too. That was um, <clears throat> since eight, nine years old. I mean, I'm serious. Right. One is stress in and one is stress out. I tend to handle stress better, you know, the bad kind of stress better in the first place. The energy levels are way up. Yeah, getting up first thing in the morning, going for a bike ride on a weekend, Saturday before the sun comes up or as the sun's coming up, it's unheard of. I, mean, I never would, would have thought that I would be doing that, but I am now. With David Brown, you have one of the best, if not the best, success stories I've ever seen in, in eight years. With David, you have a loss of over 12% body fat, 12 inches off his waist. I mean, that's, that, that's incredible. That's what makes me happy. That's what I want to train. It's people that really want to make the change not for the short term, but for the long term. Progress is, is, is happiness, at least. I'm just doing so much more, much, so much more productive. I mean, to me, it's obvious, and it has been from the very beginning, that you're not just here for a paycheck. Your gratification from your job is is my success, and you've made that really clear to me. So, I mean, I think that what separates you from other trainers is that you care. It's not gonna be any easier tomorrow. The easiest time to do it is now.